Raffin's wiped, Sixth Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Oh, what the... Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seemed worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Cheers. Here's to what's yet to come. To what's to come. Another one over here. Last year, the city council of Night City had solved 32... Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. Listen, you and Saul. Who is he? Your leader or chieftain? Their leader. We're pretty keen to delta the hell out of there before he got back. Well, let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? <sighs> the reason we came to California was because you promised change for the Alda Caldos. You claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it yourself. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. But Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. The Alda Caldos. You think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Could just start over again. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. You talking about Rogue? No, but thanks for reminding me. V, do you think I can make a fresh start with her too? She seems to better at ease on the right people. You'll work it out. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um... Uh, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... calls for a... little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. Noah will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks.
Ugh, I'm starting to feel that stress go away. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. That's the plan. Good night. Mm-hmm. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this jump done. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two... <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell them it's a damn rotten idea. You gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so seen plenty. Arasaka's not Biotechnica. The difference is not in the MO. That's always the same. You know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? To Haboobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ugh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road day and tonight and today, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Mm. 
Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I... I I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Nope. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Is all doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> Too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Oh, wait, hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing... The Wraiths, the Raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember... I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! 
Well, V, the card in the reader. <sighs> Here goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay, go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Okay, but let's skip the tiptoeing. Where are we now? I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Hurry up and wait, then. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war? Head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling, thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side. Gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Ah, uh, yes.
Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything oughta... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Okay, starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. 
When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right. Blast those breaths. Over. V, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm-hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hi, Jackton. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Okay. Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> Honestly, uh, no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this? Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place, quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me?
An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Shit! No, I'm serious. Did you see the Basilisk connection? We all owe you. It blasted so you them can into count the on the old accounts. Ah. No squirming. Lie still, I need to examine. Good to know. They won't dare show their faces again. How many did we drop? Our losses. That's what I Nobody's behind the bar. They could have been lost. That I like. That basilisk could come around sooner. Pan Am missing from camp at such a critical moment. She'll have some explaining to do. What is she? Beer? Lemonade? Hell. Beer me. Leave her alone. Are you about done? Moose has got a nasty ass gas, too. Happy endings. Speaking of happy endings, back there in the basilisk, I hope you don't regret what happened. I regret one thing only that we had so little time. Guess we'll have to do something about that. Mm hmm. You know, you know, this, this could be us, every day. V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what are you? Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro. Pan Am. I. V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where. Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? Tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now, <laughs> Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit. Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix, and it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. 
I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally, we were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Thanks, Mitch. But I'd better be going. You're barely standing, V. You take care of yourself, okay? Remember, our offer still stands. So what? If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? Ah! I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well... Just please keep in touch. So this is where you escape to when you need to think. I never escape. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean! It shouldn't be me! It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here, waiting for the world to fall away. 
for my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Hello, V. This is nice. Ugh. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. How's it going with Rogue? It's going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled? For now, we're good at avoiding each other, and that's fine with me. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station, but they're dead set that it was Raffin that downed their AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietors stick into that version, so we're covered for now. Come here. Ah, oh, stop. How's it going? Depends on what the it is. And what you want to hear. Oh, you know, the huge. I longed for you, V. Oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. Pan Am. <laughs> I did, though. I missed you. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. Let's talk a little while longer, before I have to Delta somewhere. You have no idea how much I needed that. Ha! <laughs> Slick moves, V. It was nice. Mm hmm. I couldn't ask for more.
city of dreams. I gladly kicked the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. It's been a long day. This dam. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. And now you do? You'll not get any tearful confessions out of me. It wouldn't be tearful. I know you. What I think of you now matters not at all. Tomorrow we will be elsewhere. We'll start everything anew. You and I. Ask me then. Can't hardly wait. Get ready, Arizona. Here we come. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. City of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi. Everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. It's just not there. What I'm looking for. Do you think we'll ever find it? <laughs> Doubt it. But maybe that's not so bad. If Night City taught me anything, it's to beware of your dreams. Because somehow they always find a way to come back and bite you in the ass. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Just a little blood, Pan Am. It's nothing. V, promise me, as soon as we arrive down south, we'll go to my contacts. We'll fix... whatever needs fixing. Don't worry about a thing. Come on. Got a border to cross. Shouldn't waste any more time. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V, get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City. Good night and good luck. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Mikoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. 
We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyway, things will be different now. Gotta be. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Just realized. Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. Fuck, v. You are a sweet talker, aren't you? <laughs> but it works, doesn't it? Say it. Say it works. It works. All too well. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. I know. Pan Am! Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your grannies for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Mikoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Petty Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the Panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone. Even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. So you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years.
But now, nothing can stop us now. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't think it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It wasn't here when I was there. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. Might be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. Ready always. Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. They launched the drones. Carol, Cassidy, get moving. I'm heading west and activating the jammers. They've marked me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Good luck, kids. See you on the other side. The Nitro is ready. Say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Got nothing left to say. Start her up. The wheel is yours. Let's ride. Exactly what you wanted. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet.
perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Hey, V. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets under that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just, I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. Storm's how closing in. 30 seconds to blackout. Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we've walked through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, B, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought... Hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, who knows? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. 
The city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late, some were truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, well, when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah. Forget to delete this message. Hey V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free.